So all of our behavior is directly related to the frequency of our brain at that time. So it's correlated. There's a correlation and there's a fabric to all of this. The amygdala, the reptile brain, strong, sophisticated, loves to work, activates, and does all these things to suck the oxygen-rich red blood from our forehead, our patients, our presence, our philosophical thinking, our waning, our humanity. Your amygdala doesn't care. It's like, listen, I'm a reptile. So all of our behavior is directly related to the frequency of our brain at that time. That's a mind bender. Humans, since we were cave men and women dragging knuckles across this earth, trying to survive and build a species, we have relied on, created, or discovered ways to change our state of mind by modulating the speed of our frequency. And I guarantee you, most people have never even thought about this. So when we are feeling mentally lethargic, we woke up, we're not feeling our best, we got a big to-do list, what do we reach for? We reach for espresso, Red Bull, five-hour energy, Monster, Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, a multi-billion dollar accelerant drink market. It wasn't magic. It increased the frequency of my brain. You have a tough day, interpersonal conflict, things weighing on you. You just feel miserable. You say, hey, I'm going to have a glass of wine. You have a sip of wine. Wow, my life isn't so bad. It slowed down the frequency of your brainwave. We have to rely on all this external stuff to regulate how I want to feel. How about if I just choose how I want to feel? Exercise, intimacy, texts, all of these things modulate the frequency of our brain. And the frequency of our brain directly correlates to our behavior, our mood, and our thoughts all the time, every time. That's so cool. 